back at the bungalow today. So the plan is, I'm gonna get all that wiped up here, and then all the internal block up. Rhino Bill's kindly sent me some uh, water stands. Perfect. It's just gone half seven now. So we're gonna have a good solid day. I've got four tubs of muck to get through today and probably a little bit tomorrow. Alex, you wanna crack on getting them bricks loaded out, mate, yeah? I'll give you a hand now, we'll get stuck in. Got my lad now loading out the spot boards. Get them all done. That's it. That's nice. Keep it up, Alex, keep it up. that the perps are a little bit too big. They're a little big. But what I'm about to do with this panel, I'm about to open out this panel an extra 20 mil. That's why the perps are a little bit big on this panel. So why, why I've done that is because on the drawing they want the 10 course of uh, facing bricks. We know and obviously everyone else knows 10 course don't work. So what we've had to do is with the brick we've got to put a course of commons all the way along. So it keeps uh, the ties right. Two course. I'm going to put that through, put the course of block through, get it up to height. And then um, I'm going to start cracking on with this corner in here. Start getting that, all that insulated. Oh yeah, I want to talk about these uh, Rhino build uh, mortar stands that they kindly sent me out. Brilliant, really good. So anybody who wants to get yourself some good quality mortar stands, go on to rhinobuild.com. They're on eBay, uh, they're on Instagram. A brilliant little bit of kit. Much appreciated. Uh, I'm over the moon with them. Look at that big difference where the tree blocks to them. I've got another one over there as well. It's heightened. I'm gonna bring that one round as well. But uh, yeah, we're getting there, starting to get there. We've gone through over two tubs of muck and it's only just gone. Yeah, what time is it now, Alec? Coming up to two o'clock or one o'clock? Quarter past two. We've gone through over two tubs of muck. Bang on. We don't mess about boys. Bang on plum, look at that. All the way along. Look. Nicely plumb. Come into the middle as well. There's a lot of people, they don't plumb the middle. You know? Perfect. 
Perfect. Clock on, that is. Yeah, we're not doing too bad today. I used up more muck than I thought I would. There's a piece in there. It's a uh, hit rhino build up for some profile clamps as well to do everything. Now that's only one clamp that is, and it's holding the hole. Look at that, solid. Can't move it. So, just go, just go on their website and hit them up. They got everything. And their stuff's bang on. I can vouch for it, 100%. Really good quality stuff. Got two course on nine, a course of pummies all the way around. We got three course on nine and a course of pummies. And on the inside, we got uh, five course of brick and are just uh, three course of block all the way down there as well. You can see it all the way down there. So, considering not too bad, I would have liked to get a bit more done. But I didn't want to use up too much of the compo because otherwise I won't have enough for tomorrow. So that's what I got done today. Not a bad day. So the plan is, all that needs to be done tomorrow is that topping up over there, topping out. And in the front, I've got brickwork going up to here, uh, to, that, to that mark. And then I've got a meter and 10 door. And I've got the same that side. And then it's just to back it up with block work on the inside as well. So that'll be tomorrow's job. So we've gone through two and a half tubs today. Not bad going. So until the next one.